Good morning, everyone. So today is the day I'm getting my root canal. So something about, ah, I'm just a hot mess today. Um, so when they lay you back at the dentist, it's, they always like have my head back further than the rest of my body, even just a little bit. And for like whatever reason, that makes me like really uncomfortable and dizzy. So, um, I get really nervous and honestly in the past my dentists have all prescribed me a Xanax before going in and I forgot to mention it to my dentist today or for today and because I was just like so antsy to get an appointment I just forgot and <clears throat> so I'm super nervous and I got a little bit sick this morning because <laughs> I was nervous. Um, and I'm hoping I don't get sick there. I ate breakfast and I probably shouldn't have, but I don't know how long this is gonna take. So I didn't wanna not eat and because I'd had coffee, I don't know. We'll see if I regret it, but yeah, I'm pretty nervous. So anyways, that's it. Um, oh, my little earmuffs, I got these at the dollar store. All right, got my wallet, got my purse, my phone. I'm bringing my AirPods because if they let me put my AirPods in, I'm totally going to. Um, just maybe it'll help me relax a little bit. So that is it. So I'll see you guys after the dentist. Wish me luck. Oh, wish me luck. I hate it. I hate it. I'm so scared. Okay, bye. Back from the dentist. Can you tell this half of my face still doesn't move? But yay, you guys, I'm done with my root canal finally. I have to go back in two and a half weeks to get the permanent crown on. Right now I just have a temporary crown, but oh, it was rough, it was rough. It actually, they were wonderful. I haven't had a root canal in many, many years. And I feel like in just these couple of years, it's gotten better <laughs> like the technology the I don't know they were just the most wonderful people um the root canal itself only took about a half an hour it took them another like 30 to 35 minutes to grind the tooth down and one of my phobias is the numbing cream running out like it is a straight phobia um because it's happened to me once not numbing cream like the Novocaine it happened to me once in the middle of a root canal and it was the most extreme pain I've ever been in um, so they numbed me extra. So like I think I'll be letting this wear off for a long time. Um, yay! So that's one thing that's been like weighing on me for over a month and that's taken care of so that feels good. I'm going to make something to eat. My mouth tastes disgusting because it tastes like dental stuff. Um, which I'm sure is so I'm like drooling. <laughs> I can't stop. I put on my bathroom because it's still so cold in here. I could not film myself eating because I'm struggling to eat. I'm like shoveling things in half of my mouth and try not to drool them out. But I just did some like steamed potatoes and I melted some vegan cheese on. This is the Chow brand, just the original. Then I have some just egg and some hot Italian Beyond sausages. I made all of them. So I'm not gonna eat them all now, but that's just what I'm eating. I was so hungry because I was so nervous before I ate a little bit of breakfast before my dentist appointment. But when I'm nervous, I can't eat a lot. So I was so hungry after, but yeah, it's very uncomfortable trying to eat with half my mouth numbed out. It started snowing a lot. So I'm definitely gonna have to shovel or snow blow the driveway today which I'm not looking forward to because before when I did it it was like 30 something degrees today it's one degrees possibly colder now that the overcast is so strong I'm not looking forward to this it's so cold out
Everything I shoveled is already covered in snow, so it didn't really do me much good. I think the important thing to acknowledge here is that I tried. <laughs> and now I have proof that I tried. My camera's frozen. Easiest, shortest manicure ever. And I just do the little Frenchies. Sometimes I do like prettier colors, but if they're not the kind with the really t thick tip, they definitely don't last as long. At least not the way I live, so. Here we go. It's 6.02. I'm up. Gotta get ready to go back to New York for work today. My gums are a little sore around my um, root canal tooth like they told me, but not nearly as bad as I thought they were going to be, so oh, I feel, feel like that's good. I've been awake for half an hour. I've just been laying here. I'm so tired. I should have got up and had coffee. Now I got a kind of rush. today. <sighs> Trying the hair mask. <sighs> that 
and today is the first day today is the first day that um, I'm gonna try my best to start practicing French every day even for just a little bit I want to try to practice every day and I've been following a lot of French accounts on Instagram and things to kind of give me inspiration because when I see those things, I'm like, oh, I want to learn. Um, and I have an audiobook that I've been listening to. It's called, ah, this is the audiobook, Learn French with Paul Noble. He does other languages. Um, but I really like it. I just have not been consistent. So normally I would play music or podcast or something, but I'm trying to replace Netflix and all that stuff with this. I'm going to give it a shot. Cut off the Asian at the cafe. So how would you say decorated? Decorate the consonants that you will pronounce when they are on the ends of French words. So, let's look at uh, the word for you, which is spelt V-O-U-S. How luck. So, the consonants are in for luck are F-R-L-C-K. If a consonant is in for luck, pronounce it. That's something we'll get used to as we go through the course. So again, don't worry too much about remembering it. And, um... I will simply bring it up again. Préparer le café. Je voudrais préparer le café pour vous. Pour vous. Pour vous. How would you say, I would like to prepare roast beef for dinner? Or as the French would say, I would like to prepare the roast beef for the dinner. Je voudrais préparer le roast beef pour le dîner. Je voudrais préparer le roast beef pour, pour le vous. dîner. Oh. How about... normally would want a tan but because I don't know if I'm gonna get a trip right away and I don't know the next shower I'll get to have I'm not gonna tan so I'm not really gonna be happy about that later but it's fine nails are still looking so good I glued them on to perfection this time because sometimes when you glue them on there's like white patches because it's just like I don't do a very good job I mean this one has a little white bubble but overall they look so good very happy very, very happy to have them done. <sighs> so I'm just going to do my hair, my normal. I'm not going to put any makeup on because I'm just going to go to the airport and sleep. Um, I probably won't sleep on the plane. I'll probably read. But um, the idea is so I can just like not have to worry about washing my makeup off at the airport. <laughs> I'm just ready to leave. Um, the only thing I'm missing oh, is my work flats, and here they are. I really need to get a pair of, like, ballet flats, like something that's a little easier to pack, but whatever. Mine are a little thick. Um, then I gotta go empty out my lunchbox in my car, and then I'm ready to go, but I'm all packed up. Bringing my earmuffs because it's so cold here in Minnesota. Unfortunately, my scarf, my work scarf, is in my van, which I still don't have back, um, sadly. It's Tuesday, so it's been a couple of weeks that they've had my van now. Um, it is what it is. I'm just happy it's getting fixed, but I was in a rush to get it fixed so I could have it in New York this part of the month, which I obviously do not. So 
That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. In the airport, do security. Ready to go catch my flight. There's a little bit of traffic because of the road conditions, but we made it on time. So now I'm gonna go get a coffee. So I've got a bit of time. They already sent me a seat. I got first class, so very exciting. Um, now I just have to decide if I want Starbucks or Caribou.